Father God, I thank you for those that are looking for prayers for their liver, Lord God. I thank you that you love them and that you're sending your love. You sent your love through your son, Jesus Christ, who came and he bore away all sicknesses and disease. He was already sent. He has already been received. I thank you that the listener has received the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and therefore can claim and take hold of all of those healings and all of the promises that are available because of what Jesus bore away. I thank you that anyone listening looking for liver healing and has not received Jesus Christ as Savior can right now through this liver pain actually be led to Jesus Christ through this video. I thank you that it's as simple as receiving him as Savior being willing to receive um, him taking your sins upon him and that he is Lord over your life and to confess that he is, he did come to earth as God. He was raised from the dead and he does sit at the right hand of the God, the Father, and he intercedes for us from heaven. If you believe that and you receive it into your life, you are born again, you have a new life and you are able to be made new by the living God for the rest of your life. Thank you, Father, for healing of the liver. Now, for everyone listening, I thank you that we call forth this perfect healing that Jesus Christ has afforded all of us. I thank you that there is healing available. I thank you, Father, that we come to know it, that it comes to manifest even through the sound of my voice, that Lord God, speaking the truth of the gospel, speaking the truth of the things of God, are bringing it into everyone listening, coming into agreement, bringing it into manifestation. We know your words are true, Father. We believe it, and so we do take our power and our authority over all powers of the enemy, all powers of evil that would be trying to strike at us in our generations, generational sickness, generational liver problems, Lord God. We identify that there may have been liver problems in the family before us, Lord God. There may have been generational inherited liver problems, and we do loose ourselves from those in inherited iniquity, things that have come in possibly from sin, curses, Lord God, onto the liver. Lord God, we disinherit ourselves from those. We have a new inheritance in Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father. We, we break every generational curse over the liver and over the health in general. In Jesus' name, off of the person listening and off of their family as well, that the traditions of sickness are broken and that the curses have left the family as we call every sin to repentance. We call every generational sin, every iniquity, every transgression that's been done by our forefathers that have not been repented. We repent for them. We ask, Father, for your forgiveness on behalf of our family, our ancestors, living and dead, and also ourselves, Father, the sins that we may have been involved in that would come to roost in our lives that would come as a something that we an effect of the sin that we are participating in father we repent for that we ask for your forgiveness you are faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins when we come to your mercy seat and all we have to do is confess these sins to realize that it's sin that causes sickness father and we just thank you for all the ways that you use people and places doctors the medical system, the prayer warriors, parents, everyone around us that you use them as healers in the name of Jesus Christ. It's in his name that we get healed. We thank you, Father, that you've set up teams all over the world in different orientations to all come together for the good of the listener, the good of the person that's listening. All things work together here in this world for their healing. I thank you, Father, that we cast out and cast down every pain in the liver, every inflammation, every attack of the immune system on the liver, Lord God. We cast it down. We throw it down. We trample it underfoot. There is no pain in Jesus' name. There is no swelling. There's no imbalance. There's no uh, inflammation. There's no attack on the liver. There's no immune system problem, Lord God. We thank you that you have reversed it. You've reversed every curse on the cross at Calvary. We thank you that we lay claim to that, Lord God, in Jesus' name. You care for us. 
We feel through this message, we feel your care for us. We feel your love for our bodies, our cells, our tissues, our DNA. I thank you for the bile ducts and everything connected to the liver, that every organ in the digestive system, that it is all functioning in perfection as you have developed it and designed it to be. Father, I thank you for the restoration of all organs to their original intent, their protections, Father God. I thank you for your love upon those listening again, your love upon their liver, your love upon their organs, their vitals, Lord God, their sacral area, their whole stomach region, the center, the core of their body, their body cage, the, the rib cage area. Father, everywhere and below the rib cage, everywhere that there could be pain, that there could be inflammation, Father God. I thank you that all disease is wiped away, even if there's a diagnosis, even if there's some kind of pre-failure or need for replacement organs, even God. I thank you for medical miracles where you call them to be and also the documentation that once said there was disease now no longer reads it the same way. I thank you that there is a new report that something has been erased, that something has been made good, Lord God, and it's all in our change of heart. It's all in our the substance of our heart coming to realize there was sin in the camp, there was something in the family that was not right, and it affected the bloodline, and Father, it got in so, Father, there are viral infections they call hepatitis. There are inherited diseases. There are pre-born diseases. There are cancers. There are toxins that come in. And there can be exposures at work, in the workplace. There can be home-based exposures, accidental exposures. And there can be a buildup also. There can be uh, it, things injected into the body that have been toxic and poisonous, heavy metals, Lord God, that the body cannot move out quickly enough, that the body is responding to, it's trying to fight, but it can't move it out. I thank you, Father, that there's an intake of the things that are needed that to, to give the body time to clear out, to detox. Father, I thank you that you do it supernaturally, that there isn't even anything the person needs to take or do. I thank you for your favor, Lord God, but I know every listener is willing to hear the word of the Lord, the instruction from God specifically, and we listen for it now because it's going to be different for each person. But Lord God, if you would just open their ears right now, their spiritual ears, and you would speak to them, even if if they don't hear anything now in the next 24 hours that they hear a word from you, Lord God, about what to take, what to do, how to heal. Father, your specific instructions. There's Everybody's got advice in the world. There's a million different articles and things here and there, Father, but it's what you say. You know them individually, and we just thank you that you do exactly what you know is appropriate for that specific person, that this would be healed and there would be a testimony, Father, that glorifies you. That is the purpose that we can all say, I heard from God about me personally. So nobody, no article, no author, no even doctor, there's no medical thing that ever, that is right for every single person. It's what God says, and it's because he knows us and he loves us. And we just thank you, God, that you know us each individually, you know every hair on our head. And this video, this healing, I am just hearing that is so much more about God's love for us, that he wants his love to penetrate into us, into our organs. He wants to love on our organs. He wants to love on our body, our physical, cellular makeup, and everything that's just been wrecked by the devil, everything that's been wrecked by unbelief, everything that's been wrecked by sin, everything that's been wrecked by these inherited iniquities, these generational curses. Father, you're so good that you always want to make things new. That's what you do. You are life. Jesus is the life, period. There's no other life than Jesus Christ. We are fools to think that there's life outside of Jesus Christ. So if we want to live, 
and we want to recover, we have to go to Jesus Christ for that life. If we want to instill life back into our bodies, if we want youthfulness, if we want healing, it's only by Jesus. So we thank you, Father, for this love that you're sending that is healing our bodies. We thank you for the truth that is light and life in our bodies and in our lives, in our hearts, in our minds. We thank you for your affection for us. We thank you that you've called us to come together and pray at this time. You know what's coming. You know how the livers in this world are being affected by all of the toxins and all of the things and foods, all of the things our bodies are having more and more difficult time releasing because it's such a buildup. But Father, you are so good and you always come with a solution even before the problem strikes. We thank you, Father, for a wonderful testimony. We thank you that those would shout for joy, that the pain is gone, that the sickness is gone, that the doctor's report has changed. We know it. We claim it. Jesus did it. It's done. We call it forth, and we just celebrate you, Father. We testify your name. I thank you for those that have been saved through this video. I thank you for those that have come to the Lord Jesus Christ, those that have come to the living God, the way, the truth, and the life. There's so much more that you care about, Father, than just our livers. We need our livers, but we need you even more, Lord God. And if we had to choose between one or the other, we certainly would have to choose you because you are eternal and you promise an eternity with you. And we thank you for that healing. That in itself is such a healing. It's such a miracle. It's such a wonderful thing that you do with our heart and our eternity, our souls forever. So we thank you for health and life as we're able to live in this world and we're able to continue to testify to your greatness and your glory. We shall testify and continue to testify in great health, in great abundance, in great relationships, in great peace, and all of the additional things that you add to us, you load us with benefits. The Bible says you load us with benefits daily. And we just take hold of all of the benefits beyond the healing that you're doing here with our organs, but the healing of our heart, healing of our soul, the healing of our family, the healing of our relationships, and even our past, our memories, things, the shames of the past that we'd rather forget. Father, I thank you that you just you take them all up and out and we just let them be our past and they are passed away and all things are new. And I just thank you that none of us have to carry any of that shame and that old history anymore and that we're able to walk with our head held high in you because of you and to glorify you in health and in peace. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. God loves you so much. I feel it so much in this recording. I pray you feel it too. And please testify as you have your testimonies, even before so. Love to hear from you. God bless you. See you in another video. Bye for now.